Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. In order to safeguard the public from COVID-19, Gyeonggi Province recently ordered the temporary closure of all Shincheonji church facilities, which have been major channels of infection. The province also prohibited all of the church's religious gatherings. Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung announced this measure during a press conference on February 24th. According to this administrative order, all religious gatherings of the Shincheonji Church have been banned and its 353 facilities in the province are to remain closed until March 8th. 이제 특정 감염은 감염원 추적 방식을 넘어서서 잠재적 위험 영역을 그물처럼 샅샅이 훑는 데 가용 자원과 역량을 총동원해야 합니다. 이에 따라 경기도는 감염병의 예방 및 관리에 관한 법률 제 47조와 49조에 따라서 다음과 같이 긴급하게 행정 명령을 발하기로 했습니다. Governor Lee stated that to protect public safety, this order was inevitable given that the number of confirmed cases is growing rapidly and that the majority of these cases are connected to members of this church. After the announcement, Gyeonggi Province immediately mobilized field teams to execute the order. Corona 시설을 폐쇄하고 그다음에 집회 금지 등을 알리는 이제 행정 처분서를 네, 가져왔습니다. This closure order covers 353 locations suspected of being Shincheonji church facilities according to inspections and information sources. These locations also include tea houses and study facilities as well as untitled facilities. Facilities with no connection with the church will be excluded through application by the facility and subsequent confirmation by investigation. Gyeonggi Province recently introduced a data dividend payment system that returns gains from the sale of Gyeonggi Regional Currency card transaction data to card members, the owners of the data. Gyeonggi Province has been selling related data to various organizations. Data is regarded as a key to the fourth industrial revolution. The importance of data and its utilization has become a frequent subject of discussion in Korea, especially after the recent passage of three related laws regarding privacy, information networks, and credit information. On February 20th, Gyeonggi Province began paying proceeds from the sale of this card transaction data to card members to honor data owner rights. Gyeonggi Province refers to these payments as data dividends, the first of their kind in the world. On the same day as the dividend payment, Gyeonggi Province also held a meeting with National Assembly members to discuss data owner rights and their future. During the meeting, participating specialists also discussed data dividend payment system promotion strategies. The dividends, which amount to 120 Korean won per Gyeonggi Regional Currency card with records of actual use, were paid on or before February 22nd. This payment system is expected to achieve the dual purpose of protecting data owner rights and promoting the local economy. Since 2018, Gyeonggi Province has been improving residential environments in northern border areas by utilizing vacant houses beginning with a village in Yeoncheon County and followed by a village in Yangju City last year. In this village in Yangju City, the former town hall will be transformed into a PC cafe and public lodgings, while an old warehouse will be transformed into a cafe. It was a small house, and 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 it was
이제 이런 사업을 하다 보니까 주민 입장에서도 아무래도 그 전보다는 환경 여건이 많이 좋아진 걸로 알고다 좋게 생각을 하고 있습니다. The objective of the Northern Border Area Residential Environment Improvement Program is to help villages in these areas, those that face development restrictions due to military or urban protection, regain livelihoods. This year, Ogari Village in Pochon City was selected for the project. This entails a total of 3 billion Korean won in development cost support, half of which will be borne by the province. 포천시 창수면 오가리 마을입니다. 이곳은 생태평화 관광마을로 조성될 예정인데요. 제 뒤로 보이는 곳은 마을 공동 체험형 농장으로 그리고 폐공장을 활용해 한탄강을 찾는 관광객들의 시설을 만들 예정입니다. Close to the Hantan River, Ogari Village is an ideal tourist destination. The project will include the construction of accommodations and tourist information facilities. Pochon City also plans to establish a processing plant for agricultural products utilizing a closed brickyard while enabling resident participation in project implementation processes. 관광객이 많이 와도 볼거리만 보는 게 아니고 어떤 체험 같은 거를 넣었을 때는 하나의 뭐 여기 같은 경우는 이제 어 제가 사과 농사를 짓고 있지만 사과 밭도 많고 그리고 뭐 사과 따기 체험도 있지만 벽돌 공장 같은 데도 벽돌에 대한 부분에 대해서 체험이 가능하다고 보거든요. Through consultations with related specialists, Gyeonggi Province plans to create highly specialized facilities that will be managed by the residents themselves. With local commerce in Korea suffering heavily due to the COVID-19 outbreak, especially in traditional markets and backstreet commercial areas, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung visited a traditional market in Guri City home of the 17th confirmed patient, and met with merchants. The coronavirus has caused a sharp drop in the number of shoppers at traditional markets. This market is also suffering greatly with shops outnumbering shoppers. At this market, Governor Lee did some shopping himself to help the merchants. During his visit, Governor Lee met with merchants and provided financial consultations on the Kyunggi Credit Guarantee Foundation's mobile service bus. Governor Lee also visited shops that had been temporarily closed after visits by the 17th COVID-19 patient. Merchants assured him that they will maintain area safety through thorough quarantine efforts. Gyeonggi Province has prepared diverse measures to help the local economy, including special financing amounting to 200 billion Korean won and regional currency discount rate increases, as well as the provision of masks and hand sterilizers to traditional markets and small businesses. On February 26th, the 341st Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session was concluded in an expedited manner after focusing on the deliberation of items proposed at the second general meeting. In order to accelerate procedures, items were deliberated through electronic conferencing systems. The five-minute speeches by assembly members were also shortened significantly. 도민의 대의 기관인 경기도의회가 선도적으로 대응하여 코로나 19가 하루 빨리 종식될 수 있도록 최선을 다 하겠습니다. A five-minute speech regarding the coronavirus outbreak was delivered by a member who represents the Democratic Party as a negotiating body. 
코로나19 확산으로 공포가 일상화되면서 우리 경제가 깊은 시름에 빠졌습니다. 지금은 위기에 빠진 경제를 살릴 골든타임입니다. 이에 집행부의 신속한 추경 편성을 제안합니다. During the general meeting, a total of 47 items were reviewed. Among other items, the passage of an ordinance that pertains to provincial support provision to designated hospitals for the 24-hour operation of child medical services drew special attention. Also included was a motion for the construction of new rental housing units in Gwangyo New Town for middle-class families. The item in question was a motion for publicly supported private investment in rental housing units in Gwangyo Block A17. This motion was approved based on 112 votes in favor out of 117 votes. The superior rental housing units will be constructed on a former public prosecutor office site. The general meeting of the assembly was shortened so as to enable officials to concentrate on coronavirus response activities. The next extraordinary session of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly is slated to open on April 21st for a nine-day run. This map service provides detailed information about more than 350 Shincheonji church facilities in the province that were closed in accordance with an emergency administrative order from Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung. Its launch announced via Gyeonggi's Data Dream Nuri Jeep website, this map provides real-time information that includes addresses, GPS locations, and facility types, as well as quarantine status. The Gyeonggi Province spokesperson stated that this service is intended to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and asked members of the public to inform the province about other related facilities via the Gyeonggi Call Center. In order to prevent bird flu outbreaks, which occur almost annually in Korea, Gyeonggi Province has established extensive research facilities. With negative pressure autopsy equipment, these facilities, the first of their kind among local Korean autonomies, will help prevent the onset of bird flu through early tests. This is the Grade 3 Biological Safety Laboratory that opened in the Gyeonggi Province Veterinary Service Center last December. Established exclusively for bird flu tests, this laboratory recently received approval from the Korea Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Occupying three stories and a total floor area of 956 square meters, this facility houses a genetic analysis laboratory, sterile rooms, and a machine room. For the first time among local Korean autonomies, this laboratory is equipped with negative pressure autopsy equipment that can completely contain the bird flu virus. This laboratory also has advanced equipment, including genetic analysis devices that enhance bird flu testing capabilities. The Gyeonggi Province Veterinary Service Center performs weekly monitoring of poultry farms and migratory bird habitats to prevent the spread of bird flu. Based on test results from this laboratory, Gyeonggi Province will be able to perform sterilization and monitoring activities more effectively. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.